Hello everybody, welcome to another Blender tutorial, and today I'm going to be going over how to make an island in Blender. It's a really fun topic, and right here is what we're going to, uh, this is our goal, try and have it look as much as possible like this. So, um, it's a fun topic, a bunch of things we have to cover, so I'm probably going to have to put this in a couple parts, but please stick with it, and um, hopefully you'll get some great results. So, um, let's just start by deleting everything in the scene. And I'm going to save this file and just call it island. Save that out. And so let's start by adding a plane and scaling it up 8 on the grid just by hitting S8. And now let's jump into edit mode and let's subdivide this. So just hit that once. And let's make the number of cuts, say, 250. Um, how about we sub subdivide it once more? So make the cuts 250 and subdivide it once more. And now let's go into sculpt mode. And let's, we're just going to be using a simple brush for now. And let's put the th pixels up to something like 175. I'm going to go with 100 for right now. And since this is going to be an island, and oh, and make sure symmetry isn't turned on. So this is since this is going to be an island, let's have it start out pretty gradual down here and kind of work its way up. If you can see in the reference image, it it has one kind of sloped cliff, not cliff, but a, a bigger hill part, and then it just kind of slopes down. So we want to achieve that. And just kind of bring that up a little bit. I think we could bring it down a little bit over here. And just so that you can get a good hill going up right here. And you don't need to worry about putting texture in the mesh for right now because the displacement modifiers that we're going to add is going to help with that. So that looks pretty good. I think I'll leave it at that. And now let's go back into object mode and now let's add some displacement modifiers. Let's add one and add a new texture. Call this one terrain big and let's go into our textures tab and change this from image or movie to clouds. And it's looking pretty wild right now. So let's make the size to 0.35. Go back into the modifiers tab and let's make the strength up to 0.15. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work for 0.15. And let's add another displacement modifier. And add a new texture and call this one terrain small. Go into our textures tab and make sure that you're on terrain small. We don't want to mess with the big. I don't know why Blender has a hard time figuring out which is which. So make sure you're working with terrain small. And let's make the size 0.15. Go back into our modifiers tab and make the strength 0.15. That's a bit much. Let's try 0.05. And it looks like, yep. Blender made a mistake again. Up on the top, you're going to have to change it um, back to terrain big because for some reason it changed it to terrain small. So just watch out for that. So now, as you can see, we have some great looking mesh, some texture on our mesh. And that's great, but if you're going to have an ocean with water lapping up on all sides all the time, you're probably going to want a smooth, sandy shore. And that's probably what's most realistic. So Let's uh, apply these displacement modifiers, and let's go over here to the tools panel and hit smooth, smooth shade, and then let's go back into sculpt mode, and instead of using the brush just this time, we're going to be using the smooth, and just go along the outskirts of it, and just kind of smooth it, smooth it down right there, and just so that it isn't, you know, more smooth with water lapping up around it and you can kind of change that with shift F your feather with that so just right around the edges I wouldn't go up any higher because we don't want to destroy any of that texture but out here I definitely would so now with that let's go back into object mode and for right now let's just add a add a plane and just scale it up and so now this will just give us a little picture of what our island will look like um, when we're gonna put an ocean up next to it. So, you know, we're gonna have to bring it up so we don't have any of this showing over here. 
and so just bring that up to your height and then that's just showing you what it's going to look like for now but we're not going to worry about that just yet right now we're going to worry about the textures and um everything with that so let's call this let's just name this call this ground plane you don't have to name it i just like to be specific in what i'm doing and let's add a uh, material and let's call this one ground plane and turn the specular intensity all the way to zero and go into our textures tab now and instead of type image or movie make it to clouds and the mapping let's make it generated leave the projections flat and I'm gonna see both here under colors turn on ramp and bring that alpha all the way to one and now we're gonna try and get a little sandy color texture so just kind of two colors that'll blend into a nice sand texture I like that and now under size let's make it 0 0.0001 so it's gonna be really tiny sand particles and so I think that's all we're gonna have to do for the sand and let's call this texture sand and let's add a lamp really quick so we can see what the texture looks like on the mesh so add a sun and angle it however you want it really doesn't matter yet but so I'll angle that how I want it rotate it and under the sun settings uh, turn on sky and ray shadow as well okay so if you render this looks like it's mapping on the mapping out on there pretty well so let's add our dirt texture now dirt and make this one clouds again and under ramp turn that on and make the alpha all the way to one again and make a, a darkish um, darker color for the dirt because um, we want some contrast and on the other side make it maybe a little bit lighter for some contrast within the texture and coordinates let's uh, make generated and projection we can leave as flat for now and Let's make the um, cloud or the basis Voronoi F2 F1 and let's try rendering that see how that looks okay and let's turn the size down to 0 0.075 um, let's try just point 0.1 and if you ever want to add more contrast you can I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker here and under influence down here under geometry uh, turn it on normal and as you can see it kind of adds this little um, it kind of indents the texture and to put more detail on that you can increase the depth so I guess I'll just increase that to 24 but um, normal I'll probably make 0.25 and it's just a little extra touch and I think we're ready to just go into the nodes now and that won't be very hard. Nodes kind of always intimidate me, but I'm getting a little bit better at them now. So let's go into our node editor. And before we use the nodes, let's add one more texture and call this one mixture. And that is just really going to be a blend. So choose blend, ramp. Actually, no, you don't need to turn on the ramp. Uh, coordinates make generated and projection leave is flat so now let's go over here to our node editor and turn on the texture nodes hit use nodes and now you can see we have these two checkered nodes and output one we will keep checkered one we won't I don't know why but I've heard that for some computers it does uh, blender does crash when you delete this node so I just recommend saving your file before deleting it. It doesn't happen to me, but just in case, I'd recommend saving it and then um, just deleting it. So let's go to add input and texture. Let's duplicate that and bring that down here. And on the first texture, let's choose sand. And on the second one, let's choose dirt. And now add another input, or actually no, go to textures add a blend and plug those colors in 
color one to color two, color one to color one, and color two to color two. Then you bring it into that output, and there you have it. And you have to go over here to the output and make that default, and then you'll have it mapped on there. And as you can see, it is mapped on, but it isn't um, going, we want it to be dirt at the top and sand all the way around the bottom. So what we have to do for that is, on the mixture, um, under mapping, you have to change the X to Z, the X mapping to Z, and the Z to X. So now if you look at it, you can see it's dirt on the top and sand on the bottom. So it looks like we could maybe make the texture a little bit smaller for the dirt. So I'm gonna go back, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna make my size 0 0.025, just so you can get a bit more texture in there. And I think I'll make that 0 0.05. So with that, I think we're good on the nodes for texture here. And so we can close the node editor. And now let's um, let's create our ocean. So let's add a plane and go over here to our modifiers tab and create ocean. I'm gonna make the scale 0.25 and the choppiness up to five and the resolution, I'm gonna bump that up to 15. And I'll just bring that up so it's covering up the rest of the island that we don't wanna see. And I'm going to scale it up just a little bit because when we have our camera in here, we're going to want to have a pretty big ocean. So with that, let's apply the ocean modifier if you have it just the way you want, or you can adjust where the wave is going to be, but I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So I'm going to hit apply, and now I'm going to go into our materials tab and add another texture and call this one ocean. Specular 0.75 and make the specular type word ISO and the slope to 0 0.025. Go down here and turn on mirror and make the reflectivity 0.25. And I'll make a diffuse color of blue. You don't have to do that, but it just kind of shows you that the ocean is blue. And let's go to our textures tab and add a texture, call this one ocean color. And then add one more called ocean bump map and under uh, on the ocean color texture change it from image or movie to blend and turn on ramp and I'll delete that one color there the active one and I'll just because we just want this to be one solid color and then I'll make it a deep ocean blue and let's make the coordinates generated and that's all we have to do for that one. And under Ocean Bump Map, let's make the type Clouds. Turn on, I actually don't turn on Ramp. Okay, and make the coordinates global. Make sure that's turned on. And under Normal, make it negative 0.1 for now. And let's make the size 0.15. And that's. I think that'll be good for now, because... We can change it later. And I think that's all we have to do. You can turn under clouds the noise. You can turn that to hard, but I'm just gonna keep that soft because I, well, I guess we might as well turn on hard because it makes a better wave effect. And so I think this that's all I'm gonna do for part one. And um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in part two. And that's when we'll start adding trees and all that other good stuff. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.